What's up guys, Tyree Gaming here, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we are back with the FX Racer series, and we've got episode number 5, I think, um, on season 2, is it? yeah, episode number 5 in season 2, got the Spanish Grand Prix, and it's going to be a good episode, and if you did enjoy the last episode, um, yeah, we finished second in that race, Verstappen won it, it was a crazy last few laps we got a time penalty we didn't really deserve but we head to spain with our heads held high because we've got a fast car now we know that what's qualifying gonna be like we finish eighth um so not what i was expecting i was expecting a bit higher then our teammate is in 11th he made improvements what has getting the pole then Charles Leclerc, uh verstappen hamilton stroll those five are just uh, separate from the rest to be honest and then Schumacher in the Red Bull finally doing well got Coolis in Puma Racing as well in P7 um, so it's looking decent uh, before we go into this race view Spain I'm confident let's see what we can do so as we head over to five red lights for the Spanish Grand Prix starting from P8 on the grid lights out away we go Again, a pretty average start stroll moves over the inside to cover us off Schumacher to the outside then and Stroll's trying to get in behind the slipstream of Hamilton, who goes on the attack to overtake the stop. And meanwhile, we're up into P6 already, getting past two cars right behind the Stroll, then tucked up in the slipstream. Down the inside, Schumacher goes round our outside, and could we lose it? Another place to cool this. We're battling him, we're on the inside. Uh, we get the move done later in the lap, then. I mean, we're still down a few positions, we're in P7 still, trying to maybe catch up to Schumacher in that Red Bull car, he hasn't really pulled away from us again in time running and if you look on the mini map up until about P9 who I think is Ocon the grid is starting to become a bit more spaced out as we look for moves on Schumacher we can't really get it, Kubis is now pressuring us as we go round the final corner on the main straight then come get in Schumacher's slipstream it's going to be pretty hard, he is in a faster Red Bull car, we are in the slipstream but Schumacher is also gaining on that stroll which means our slipstream will be a bit compromised and um, yeah so we won't be able to catch up to him that much the top four have pulled away um a bit then what are still uh, in the lead the claw in p2 as we go a bit wide onto the gravel then losing a bit of time we really need to catch up to schumacher though because as you can see he's in a fast red bull we're on the outside of him though can we make a move dancing around the outside we break a, a bit early schumacher but it's really late goes almost all four tyres off the track, he doesn't, he gets back into P6, he tries to switch back, we cut the corner a little bit there, tucked in the slip tree, can we go for a move maybe, on the back straight, it's a lovely move, we pull to the outside, I think we're side by side, as if you see on the mini map, this is a battle for P6, as we go into the next corner, Schumacher on the inside, we break early again, switch back, didn't work this time, can we go to the inside, maybe he's locked up, he's one wide, we just can't get the speed and the exit to do that maybe can we do it here on the outside this time switch back should work here no it don't can we go to the inside this is a mad battle for p6 with schumacher we get a better exit i would say but then in the straight the straight line speed of that red bull is pretty damn quick compared to our car and look how much he pulled away from us already on lap three this race has gone by so quick so far Stroll is starting to pull away from me and Schumacher. We are battling as now we see. I didn't even speak about this. The track is now wet because it's starting to rain. Everyone has lost grip, so we're all going to be coming in. This is going to cause a shake up maybe. A bit on the grid then. Schumacher's locked up. He's went really wide. Can we get past him? No, we can't. But he, look, he looks to be really struggling for grip as we pull into the pit lane then. Everyone going on inters or wets. We're going to go on fully wet just to have a bit more safety on the grip, it's a very fast pit stop indeed. Uh, Schumacher's had a, a good pit stop as well, as we get past Kulis uh, there, and Schumacher seems to be held back behind, I think that was Esteban Ocon, but we get past him in the pit lane, and we're in P6 now, the lead hasn't changed, the top 5 hasn't changed, but we managed to jump uh, Mick Schumacher in the Red Bull car during the pit stop, I did say there would be a shake up, and we are feeling so quick on these wets. We're flying through the track now. Lance Stroll was side by side him as we move over to lap six then. 
It looks like he might be struggling for a bit of grip there on these inches. Look how wide he goes into that corner. We just can't get past him now. We need to maybe be patient, bide our time a little bit, wait for a good exit. Maybe we can get past him on this main straight or maybe we can just do it now. We switch to the outside. Can we go to the inside? We get a decent exit. Can we get another decent exit off the last corner? It's a very punchy exit as Bottas pits. And it's gone dry instantly. After just a few laps, everyone's pitting now. We pit for the hard tyres. It's gone hard within the space of a few minutes. I mean, we have to pit for hards in the space of a few minutes. That sounded really weird, but anyway, <laughs> we did lap seven. Uh, MP6 still. We oh, we're side by side with Shaw. I didn't even realise that side by side. We got past him up into P5, and it looks like. Look at the leaderboard, Verstappen has jumped Leclerc in that case in the pit lane. We could be in for a decent finish, maybe a top 5 finish. If we can keep this up, Stroll diving down our inside, what a move from the Canadian. Caught us napping a little bit there. Stroll on super soft, so he is going to be a bit quicker than us on tyres on tire and everything. But his tyres were well quicker, we get an insane exit off that corner. On the outside, we break early against Stroll, what a switchback. We're still on the inside, battling the Canadian. Can we get past him for a move up into P5? Stroll locks up and he breaks into us. Oh, we almost got upside down. Oh my days, what a crash. Luckily, we haven't got any damage. The Schumacher now gets past us. And I think, are we side by side with a car? Yes, we are side by side with Coolis. And Coolis gets past us, so we're down in P7 uh, now. And that crash with Stroll, Stroll did turn in on us. We have nowhere to go. He, I think he went into the wall. We bounded back onto the track. We smashed into him. Luckily, um, there is no damage. But ooh, we're lucky we didn't retire from the race. That was kind of similar to the uh, Guan Zhou crash. As uh, obviously in the uh, last episode of us, I think, no, no, it was two episodes ago in China where he took us out. As now P7, we just got to try a move up the grid, lap 8 now and Kulis goes really wide there Un uncharacteristic uh, there from Kulis uh, as we get past him, up into P6 though we'll take every position we can as he maybe looks for a dive down the inside he's gonna go for it I think down the inside on us, it's a lunge as we see on the mini map there, you have to look on the mini map for that, as there's no side camera obviously, we get a massive uh, exit there, we're tucked right under the rear wing of Mick Schumacher, can we make a move down the inside, he locks up, we lock up a bit as well, can't get the move, is Coolis gonna maybe fancy a chance down the inside, no, we cover him off there, good defending by us, looks like uh, Verstappen still managed to keep P2 as his teammate, we are battling now, Schumacher goes in a bit deep, we look to maybe switch him back, we just can't get the car turned in enough as we get a great exit and we fly past Mick, but we're still side by side as we go. On to lap 9 now, it's a drag race between the Red Bull team and the sister team, Alpha Tauri, who's going to win it? Well, it looks like we have edged it, up, back up into P5, it's a lovely move, but Schumacher has actually, is he going to come back at us? No, he's on our outside a bit, we just cover off the move and we maintain P5, but what a battle that was between uh, us and Schumacher, as it looks like lap number 11 we have started to really bridge the gap and it looks like oh Leclerc and Hamilton have got past uh, Verstappen now but I think that's Verstappen in the pits yeah it's Verstappen in the pits though so that is why as Coolis is now stopping as well we're up into P4 and interestingly Cosmo and the Hards these are gonna stretch um so we could be able to maybe jump Hamilton if Hamilton pits say about this lap um, we could be able to jump in because, yeah, as we go on to the end of the lap, Leclerc, it looks like Bottas, Leclerc and Hamilton are going to come in. Is Bottas coming in though? Yeah, he's in. The top three are in, which means we lead the race in the Alpha Tauri. And if we play our cards right, we could be looking for a podium, dare I say it, as Bottas isn't up into P2. But, I mean, it's going to be a stretch dragging these hard tyres out onto lap 14 then, and they are really starting to kick in to where and now we're gonna pit what ties are we gonna go for we're gonna go for the hearts again just so we know we can get to the end of the race just on that one more stop where are we gonna come out though to the leaders we were in fifth 
where are we gonna come out? Are we even gonna jump ahead of uh, Hamilton, maybe? I mean, we're in P4 right now. Hamilton hasn't come past us. And it looks like we have jumped Lewis Hamilton. So where is he then? He must have got held up in the pits then. Wow. We're in P4. I did say we couldn't be able to jump him. And we have. And if I'm right, and everyone else stops us, we see Schumacher stop then. If we see Bottas, Leclerc and Verstappen stop, then we could jump them easily and we could be in the lead of this race into the final few laps. What an ending this could be. As we skip ahead to lap 16 then, Verstappen's tyres, they're already starting to wear massively. He's dropped off a mile off Leclerc and Bottas with tucked behind him in the slipstream. We just can't really uh, get uh, close to him though. Lap 17 now, or the start of lap 17 is Verstappen maybe gonna pit at the end of this lap because obviously he did pit earlier than anyone else as you know his tyres are going off the cliff he's dropping back so much from the top two we are catching him so quickly as well look how wide he goes into the next corner we get a flying exit on his outside is it gonna be the same as work and stroll we can't make that happen again he goes to the inside and almost collide with Verstappen we almost spun him round but can we maybe just make a move maybe on this back straight we need a good exit though we get a decent a half decent exit and this corner we fly off the corner on the outside of Verstappen looks like we are passing the side by side though for P3 side by side with the Red Bull on the outside and Verstappen clips our tire and he's gone upside down look at his cars it's it's half upside down I mean he's managed to keep it level now he's back onto the track so are we I mean, we've made the move to P3, but Max Verstappen, what are you doing, man? What did he just do there? Forced us off, and then we both collided. Looks like he's got a bit of damage as well. Leclerc pits in then. What is going to happen? Are we going to now not be able to jump uh, Charles Leclerc because of that Verstappen incident? Are we still going to be able to get past him? Let's see. What has it staying out on? Yes, we do. We jump. Charles Leclerc, Verstappen pits in because he has damage. We jump Leclerc. Next up, with three laps to go, is Valtteri Bottas. And he's probably going to pit at the end of this lap as we see Coolis pit again. So, could we end up winning this race? I mean, as you see on the mini map there, I don't know if you saw him just as we were coming up that straight. Yeah, as you see on the mini map there, he is quite a bit ahead of us. I don't know if he's within the pit lane uh, time. As we see now, the end of lap 18, this is the moment of truth. Bottas has come in for his pit stop. Where is he going to be at? And he, look, we passed him on the last, on the main street. We passed him up into P1 with two laps to go. We're weaving on the track. As this could mean the race win for us. If we keep our car on the track, this could mean a very important race win. And our first in Formula 1. What a win it could be for us. Oh my days, as we now move to the last lap of the Grand Prix, and we are going to take the win and oh, in only the fifth race of our Formula 1 career, we took the F2 Championship last season. We're in a decent position now in the Championship. Our strategy play was 100 IQ, and in an Alpha Tauri, we are about to win the race. It's going to be... going to be a brilliant victory and we're going to take the 25 points. As we weave across the line to take the victory, what a win. Our first win in Formula 1, let's go in our fifth race, get in. And where does that put us now in the championship? Obviously we finish first. And let's go to the championship standards as Bottas and Leclerc finish in second and third. Championship standards, we are in P5. Nine points behind Hamilton, so that's good. And that is where I'm going to end the episode. Verstappen actually has overtaken Stroll. He's eight points clear, but that is where I'm going to end the episode. Did you enjoy it? Make sure to smash like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one in Monaco. Goodbye.